Hi low folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install custom moveset mods for Smash Ultimate. I've already gone in depth on the setup of Smash Ultimate mods in a separate video, link in the description for that. However, adding custom moveset mods is a bit different than the traditional method of moving mods to your SD card. A quick disclaimer, well a few quick disclaimers before we begin. In this tutorial and in all of my other tutorials, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections. You can still follow along if you're using another OS, but some steps might be a little different. Also, this guide is intended for users that already have their Switch modded and have a basic understanding of setting up Smash Mods. If you don't have a modded Switch and or Smash Mods already set up, check the description for my noob-friendly guides. The first is on the setup of Atmosphere Custom Firmware, which allows you to use homebrew apps, mods, and more. The second is on the setup of Arcropolis and Skyline, which allow you to run Smash Mods. One last thing regarding these mods' Wi-Fi safeness. Using these gameplay-changing mods in offline Smash modes or in private arenas with users that have the exact same gameplay mods as you is Wi-Fi safe, meaning you shouldn't have to worry much or at all about a potential ban. However, if you go into a public arenas or quick play, the gameplay changing mods will cause the matches to immediately end and might even crash the game. I suggest only using these gameplay mods in offline modes and in private arenas with friends that have the same mods as you to avoid a potential ban. The chances of a ban happening are highly unlikely, but remember you're doing this at your own risk. More info on bans in the description. And before we get started with this tutorial, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you for your support. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community. Now, let's get started with the setup of the Gogeta mod. Connect your Switch SD card to your PC using your preferred method. I'll be using FTP, wireless file transferring in this video. For this example of setting up a moveset mod, I'll be using the Gogeta mod. Open up your browser and search up Gogeta Smash Ultimate. Click here, Gogeta moveset on Game Banana. This mod adds Gogeta as his own character, complete with voice, sound effects, and even transformations. Technically, this is a mod for Terry, but it's set on additional slots that won't affect Terry's normal 8 slots. Shout out to those listed here in the credits for making this mod. You can check out the videos and screenshots here for a closer look at the mod itself. I also recommend taking a look at the description and update notes. There's usually useful info regarding setup, moves, bugs, and known conflicts with other mods. Scroll down to required plugins. We need all of these plugins in order for the mod to properly load. This is very important to the setup and if you skip any of these plugins you'll most likely encounter issues. The first is Smashline 2. Click the link to access the GitHub releases page. Shout out to those that have worked on Smashline. As it is with other mods and homebrew on GitHub, the latest release will be at the top. I highly recommend taking a look at the patch notes just in case there's any useful info. At the time of recording, the latest release is version 1.5.1. .1. If there's a newer release when you are following the guide, that's okay. Download the latest version when you are following this guide. Click lib smash line plugin nro to download it. On your SD card, open the atmosphere folder, contents, smash title id folder, ROMFS, Skyline, and Plugin folders. Move lib smashline plugin nro to the plugins folder. There you go. Regarding Skyline, Arcropolis, and One Slot FX, I have separate videos on the setup of those. If you don't already have those set up, follow my guides in the description. For nro hook and param config, do what you did with Smashline. Download the latest plugins and move them to the plugins folder. Big shout out again to those involved in the making of these plugins. 
navigate to the root of your SD card after putting the plugins in the plugins folder. Next, CSK Collection. This is a collection of plugins by Cool Sonic Kirby, CSK, and the Purple Enjoyers. Big shout out to Cool Sonic Kirby and the Purple Enjoyers. Now there's a lot of info here on the included plugins, so I recommend giving it a look. Scroll down and click download. Open the zip and extract it. Now move the atmosphere and ultimate folders to the root of your SD card as shown here. If prompted, replace old files. Now all that's left is to download the Gogeta mod itself. Download the latest release and extract it. On your SD card, navigate to your Ultimate Mods folder. Now drag over the Gogeta Moves mods to make sure you have the required plugins set up. To find more gameplay mods, go to the Smash Ultimate Game Banana page, and go to the Gameplay section on the right hand side. There are even more categories to sort through if you're looking for specific gameplay mods. And that is all for the video, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members, thank you so much for your support, and thank you, yes you, for watching until the end. On the left you'll see my playlist for Switch modding guides, and on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya! Pax Christi!